Hey, Tim Cray here, Expert Power Wash, Vancouver, Washington. Hey, I wanted to update you guys on the, the trailer video that's on my channel. Um, if you guys have not seen that, that video, take a look. Um, I appreciate all the great support, all the great comments on there. Uh, so the, the trailer's been in operation for the whole season. Um, if anybody's watching this video later on, it's November now, so it's, it's performed all through the busy season and uh, I just wanted to, to show you guys the stuff that worked and the stuff that didn't. Um, kind of give you a little update of, of what I changed and, and what I left alone. So let's take a look. All right guys, just a quick overview. Um, again, it's the Honda GX690, uh, 3500 PSI. Uh, what's more importantly is the gallons per minute. It's eight gallons per minute. Um, got the K7 unloader over there, of course, with the, with the general pump. So a lot of that stuff, it's, it's all covered in the other video that's on my channel. Take a look at the trailer build video, but just, just kind of walk you around. Um, these little clips right here, you get the plastic ones or metal ones. These things work phenomenal if you're doing out doing roof cleaning and you, and you hold stuff over the bushes and the landscape. So I got some of them uh, in the truck and then extra ones I just kind of put on the side. So plumbing's still the same. You know, it has a dump right out the side there. Um, an extra gas can. I don't know if I had this on the on the trailer bit video before, but I have the gas can right there. Um, so I have a remote gas can right there, and then extra gas right here. Um, my surface cleaner. I think I had it here in the last video. Um, I just use these little Velcro straps. Strap it there. Oh yeah, you gotta have one of them. That thing has come in handy many many times. So. Uh, one thing I did change on the trailer here is this 50 gallon tank. So the tank that I had on here before was a 65 gallon and I had the fancy metal straps and it was all bolted down. Um, the problem with that, and uh, I, I know this is a debatable issue, but uh, it had a, had a bulk fitting down at the bottom, kind of like in an area down there. Uh, to where you can drain it or, or whatnot. What happens when you store straight SH bleach in them tanks is it tends to degrade the seal and pretty soon it's, it's going to be leaking all over the trailer. Let me show you. For some of you guys that don't believe me, I had this thing, I had the bulkhead fitting super, super tight. You see the wood down there, what it did? It's kind of hard to, to see it at this angle, but it actually took a pretty good coating off there. Uh, and it just kind of leaked all all down on the on the wood decking. I was out of town for a week and came back and this is what I found. So um, after doing some research, I decided that I'm gonna go with a tank that does not have any fittings on the sides or anywhere. So bleach goes in the top, I use a drop stick and it pulls out of that. So. If I need to take the tank off real quick, I got little eye bolts on the front and back and uh, just pull it out of there. Um, I kind of paused here, guys. I, I am passionate about this. I, I've seen this discussed on the forum um, several times. If you guys are gonna be storing your bleach and bulk on your trailer, don't have any bulkhead fittings. Trust me, it'll save you time. It'll save you a lot of headache. Uh, in here, I still have hoses. I still have my eliminator. Over here, I did not move anything on the trailer before the video, so I even have my rags hanging off there. Uh, one thing, you know, always always wipe down your equipment. You know, have a little pride in what you do. I have my drop stick over here. I was uh, going through my, uh, my roof pump system in another video. So a lot of this stuff has stayed the same. Um, up here, I'm gonna climb up. I do have... Uh, just a super, super fancy Ace Hardware uh, splitter on here. So my garden water goes in and goes into the bulkhead, fills my tank. Uh, I have this here and I have a water hose. Um, I can use this for filling buckets, for rinsing off my hands, um, just about anything you can think of. And it just kind of goes along down the side of the tote and then I tuck it in underneath. So. Um, Real easy, you know, just turn these on off, 
you know, both of them have an on off. Uh, and these plastic ones, guys, that they have a, they're a lot bigger inside, you know, the di diameter for water to flow than, than some of them brass ones. So that's why I use the plastic one. Um, this has been going all season. I know plastic could break. Uh, you could have an extra one or, you know, it's just as easy just to run down the store and pick one up. But yeah, super cheap option to, to have a little uh, rinse hose off your, your, your fill line. Um, other than that, I've changed the setup on the, the hoses coming out of the roof pump. So I have a, a little three-way uh, valve here with a quick, you know, disconnect fitting there on the uh, cam lock. That's what it's called. So a little cam lock hose there. So when you're rinsing out your, your pump or you want to use it to transfer, so I just turn this. I'm going to send all my mix to my hose reel or I can go like this. I can, I can prime my pump. I can, I can prime my little proportioning setup. Uh, also, I can drop the, you know, the drop stick into my bulk bleach and pump some out if I want to. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, I have just a little hose with a cam lock fitting that's up in the front toolbox there. I just plug it in and do what I need to do. All right. Got the battery boxes again, of course, here. Um, this is a little proportioning device that um, I put together. Uh, Frank Peters sells the Pro Mix-A-Lot version three. Um, stuck it in an Orbitz box. I, I'm not gonna go into great detail about the plumbing and how this all works. Over here, probably about the last thing I changed is I went and got one of these seven gallon tanks from uh, the power wash store. Uh, this thing is fantastic. It's, it's sturdy and it kind of just fits fits right in there. Um, so my downstream and drop stick, it just drops right in the top of that. Nice sturdy hose. Again, it's you know, seven gallons. It's kind of tight right now. There we go. Yep. Big wide opening, so it's easy to to fill that sucker up. Pressure line, and that's that's about all. I threw some cones on the back there. Have lots of these little rubber ties. Um, they always come in handy. Um, got little Velcro straps on the back there. Uh, my gutter cleaning tool is actually in the back of my truck right now. Uh, use that today on a gutter cleaning job. But that's about all, guys. In general, uh, the setup has been phenomenal this year. Uh, it's made me a decent amount of money. Um, so if you guys are looking to do a trailer setup like this, um, this thing worked out really, really well. The only thing that I would change that I have not changed yet is I have the single axle. So when you fill up this IBC tote, you know, it's 275 gallons. It is going to squat quite a bit. And uh, there probably is some wear and tear that, that's going on um, by not having a, a double axle. So uh, that's one thing I'm probably going to change uh, possibly next year. Uh, th this trailer has done done well. I ha haven't had any issues. Um, you know, just if you guys are running a roof pump or, or downstream and anything like that, just make sure you're rinsing all that stuff out. Um, got these downstream injectors. I think I have like five or six of them in a toolbox. There's a there's a little organizer uh, video that I did that you guys can check out on the channel. But just kind of just a, a general organization to to keep with you. So make sure you have plenty, plenty of extra spare parts. Um, I just put my ladder over across the top and then it ties down in the back. That's about all. Um, we are going to be servicing a metro area here uh, come the, the springtime. So I am looking into possibly building a, a small little setup on the back of a truck. So. Um, if we decide to go that route, I will keep you guys in the loop and I'll, I'll have a little build on the, uh, you know, it'd be a basic house washing rig. So I'll keep you guys in the loop on that. Hey, you guys all have a great day. Wash on.